If you're looking online for vacation rentals or even a place to live, proceed with caution. Consumer problem solver Connie Thompson just saved one local family from getting ripped off. But Connie, these scammers are hitting virtually all the rental housing websites, aren't they? You've got that right, Mary. And if you make the wrong move online, they're going to steal hundreds, even thousands of dollars, and you are never going to get it back. This is the one right here. Searching online for a vacation rental, Shelly Rates yeah. stumbled onto yeah. a steal of a deal in Jackson Hole. It be 200 per night, total of four nights. 200 bucks a night. The out-of-state landlord answered every question, sent a booking contract, but something was off. A little too slick. <laughs> it was a little too quick and a little too slick. Especially when it came to the deposit. No None. visa, no, no MasterCard. Card. No PayPal. Mm -mm. How did he want you to pay? I check. So she contacted me. I sent her to the original listing. It was hijacked by a scammer. The actual rent is 650 a night, not 200. Were you surprised? I was shocked. I was shocked that you did it so quickly. I thought, how did she do that? When I looked all over the place trying to figure it out. You know, we got lucky because a person that we know happened to see our property. Andy and Kathy Beal just had their listing hijacked. They're asking 1,595 a month. The scammer changed the rent to 900, claiming to be on a mission in Africa. That's why we're down here in West Africa. Just take good care of our properties. Rental website companies claim they take steps to monitor for scams. And if you look hard, you can find warnings. But it's really on you to spot the scam. An unusually low rent, an out-of-state landlord or representative who cannot meet you in person and wants the deposit by check or wire transfer. Now, here's what I did. Type in that address. When the rent's really low, Google the address. The original listing will typically turn up in the search results. I was thrilled that you saved me from going down a bad path here. And, and I'm thrilled too. Yes, I was that. so thankful because I thought, you know, I was going to just write a check for $800 and that would have been it. Between the tight rental market and big attractions like the U.S. Open coming to our area this summer, Online rental scams are picking up steam. I'm seeing a spike in complaints already this spring. And again, if you send your money to a rental scammer, you will not get it back, period.